हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू रिदम बी एस एस आई एम लोकेश भारतीय खबले रिप्रेजेंटिंग माय डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज पॉपुलेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड विथ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वॉट इज पॉपुलेशन सो पॉपुलेशन इज़ अ नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु लिव इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया सिटी और अ कंट्री और वी कैन से दैट अ पॉपुलेशन इज एनी कंप्लीट नंबर विथ एटलीस्ट वन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बट वॉट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ आर पॉपुलेशन इफ यू कंपेयर द इंडिया मोर देन फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट पॉपुलेशन आर एंगेज इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड आर लाइट सेक्टर एंड देर जी डी पी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ओनली फिफ्टीन टू सेवनटीन परसेंट सो दिस इज आर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बट वॉट एफ आई यूज दिस वर्ड पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ सो दिस इज मोर सिमिलर टू द पॉपुलेशन बट द ओनली वर्ड विच इज यर इज ग्रोथ सो पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ प्ले अ वेरी कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग रोल इन द डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेसिस ऑफ एनी कंट्री it helps economic development and it retards economic development so here a word came in our syllabus economic development what is economic development there are some indicator which influencing the development factors we had some development factors like hdi in hdi there are further bifurcation of this development health education living standard infrastructure these all are came into the bowl of our economic development but what is the thought of our father of nation that is adam smith adam smith said about the population and the development theory like it regarded the growth of population as the base of wealth so adam smith said if you considering the population it definitely increase your wealth but you have to invest on the population first so it is our responsibility to invest on our population but here we can understand this theory with the help of malthus theory of development there is a economist and neoclassical form or a classical economist we can say malthus malthus gave a theory of uh, malthus gave a theory on development economic development theory the theory of malthus said we had a two indicators which are the two indicators we have first of all we have population and the second one is uh, the food grain so if you see the combination of this population and food grain you may found population increase in the proportion of geometrical mean and what is this geometrical mean sir population increase by 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 32 to 64 so on and so forth but if you compare it with food grains it will increase by the average mean now again i'm using this word average mean this average mean stand for the food grain increase in the proportion of 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 so on and so forth so basically you found a gap in between population and food grain production so it is our responsibility to minimize this gap as much as possible you know to increase the revenue of our country so this is the uh, growth theory gave by malthus according to the population so here i presenting you how this population are increasing day by day decades by decade we had second largest population in the country and we have some challenges too but we are giving our 100% to increase the food grain as much as possible so according to the malthus an increase in population mean increase in the number of working population who can function as active participant in the process of economic growth and development so basically if you increasing your population it may affect the working population and simultaneously it definitely grow your economic growth and development but why and how if you increase investment on your population through skill development program our government are producing some more skill development programs like pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana and some other and growing population means a growing market for most of the goods and services and division of labor is limited by extent of the market a potential expanding market may stimulate entrepreneurs to invest more and more capital goods and machinery in the economy because we want more investment in form of fdi fdi and not in form of fii there is a huge investment came from abroad in form of fii but we want investment from abroad only in fdi because it makes sense to the indian economy but how population are linked with the 
development i just explained a malthus thought on population and their development but there is a close linkage between the population and the development so we have to first of all understand the indicators of you know this development uh, the first indicator of our development is health health is the major concern of any economy like our government is taking care of the second indicator of the development is education and the third indicator is the living standard so if we uh, if we increasing investment on this given indicator we will definitely get that kind of growth and development in the economy for sure so here i can present you a population and indicators you know uh, relation which increasing our growth in the form which we we will succeed in the future for sure so this population or if we increase the population but investing on the population in the manner to increase their health education and living standard we can say it definitely increase the development of our country so what is the conclusion then in conclusion we can say that there is a direct relationship between population and growth we consider according to this theory that if population increases their development will automatically increases but to invest on to invest on the skilled first the second we can say if we provide proper skills and to uh, proper skill towards the unskilled population as i just mentioned you earlier it will definitely increase the growth of the country and lastly so always remember population is neither good nor bad if it is controlled and skilled enough it will increase the development of the country so this is from my side thank you so much we will meet on the next session thank you